need two things with you one is your notes one is your handout one is the other one is the pen so you need to underline and you need to plug in your earphones so you have to listen to the lecture attentively and wherever whenever i am highlighting or showing the pointer on the cursor on the system you do the same with your handout also so all your questions from your exams of your exams would be from this uh, Slide. What do you mean by culture dialogue? That's what we had a introduction in the last session. What do you mean by culture and what do you mean by intercultural communication or cross-cultural communication? What do you mean by culture in the last two sessions? And this is the third media lecture. We are moving to the third chapter. Here we are going to discuss cultural values. And what do you mean by cultural values and how do they help us to have the behavior? And what are the guidelines we need to follow to have the behavior of a person? And what are the things that are molding to have the cultural values? And the cultural values, how do they differ from one society to another session, society? So let me go to the next slide. So what is this it is perception is how you make sense of your physical as well as social world look at this perception is how you make sense of your physical and social world and how you construct a reality so how do you take things physically and socially and from that how do you build your own reality so you build it you make it as if it is real. Is there anything really real in this world? That's what German novel is. German has say, uh, wrote, there is no reality except the one contained within us. There is no reality according to a German novelist. What is his name? Hermann has said. There is no reality except the one contained within us. So these are all the backgrounds of the perception. Perception means what you perceive on seeing a physical or social entity. What are the opinions that would be framed or made into your mind? These are all called perceptions. How do you understand the perception? What you feel? So what is your previous knowledge? What is your education? What is your society? What is your nurturing? What is your family? These are all will be contributing to have a perception. So this is the first step to understand the cultural values. What is the first step? Understanding perception. The second one is how do you connect perception with culture uh, let me move to the next slide perception what are the features of perception again like culture perception is also a concrete word I, sorry it's an abstract word you can't prove it you can't show it so but it has its own features what are the features of perception what are the characteristics what are the salient features of the word perception how do you understand the perception is a more comprehensive appreciation of perception its functions and deficiencies can be acquired by understanding the following five characteristics offered by alder and gundestan uh, these two are the researchers the critics they are saying it would be represented by these following characteristics a more comprehensive appreciation comprehensive means complete a wholesome a wide one a big one it includes everything comprehensive means that covers each and everything appreciation of perception so its functions and its deficiencies what are its uh, functions in what way it works and its de de deficiencies means uh, disadvantages weaknesses drawbacks can be acquired by understanding if you want to know the perception if you want to understand its functions it's uh, drawbacks you need to see all these things in the following five characteristics of perception it will be determined by these phases the first one who are the critics that have contributed to frame the characteristics of perception alder and understand my dear students i am very sorry what we are discussing is completely theoretical 
so in each and every slide in each and every lecture i am going to give you so many new technical jargons so that's why you need a dictionary you need the handout and you need to read it again and again so listening to the lectures will not be making you to understand the complete concept of the course so you need to take the print out of the handout and you need to keep it with you while you are listening and while you are listening also whenever you get an a doubt you need to go back that means you need to rewind your lecture and play it again as many times as possible until you understand the complete concept see i am going to give you five different characteristics of perception why because that will be helping you to appreciate uh, perception and its functions and its deficiencies or weaknesses or drawbacks perception is selective that means uh, you have the selective perception on selective things you can't have perception on everything perception is selective and it it differs from person to person what you feel about certain things will be not the same by me so it differs it is learned that means by birth you don't have any perception it is learned from the society or from the family or from the school or from the so peer groups maybe from your classmates maybe from the system maybe from the neighbors or anything that means it keeps on changing it is culturally determined determined means what do you mean by determined decided culture will decide most of the perceptions of the people and it is consistent and uh, what does it mean it doesn't keep changing it remains the same so once you have the perception you will be with the same perception until you die in almost all the cases rarely it gets changed so having the perception changed is that you have been having the familiarity or comfortability with the cultures of other this is called culture dialogue this is intercultural communication or cross cultural communication so how much you erode with your perception would be deciding how much you will be compatible with the cultures of others so that's why uh, per, uh, perception is selective perception is learned perception is culturally determined the fourth one is perception is consistent perception is inaccurate accurate means enough inaccurate means not enough it's not a complete one it doesn't come with a complete package it is selective it's not completely right that's why it differs from person to person what you feel right i may not feel the same what is absolutely true may not be true with me it differs from person to person so let me give you examples once again what do you mean by perception perception means your opinion and your idea so you need to understand what is perception is for that you need to understand the characteristics of perception why do we need the characteristics of perception because to have a comprehensive appreciation of perception its functions and its drawbacks or deficiencies so these are the characteristics framed by these two critics who are they alder and gundenstern what are they saying about the characteristics of perception there are five different characteristics the first one is perception is selective you can't have a uh, perception on each and everything you will be having perception only on certain things and the second one it is learned it is not framed on its own it is learned through education by living by by being part of a family or the society in organized groups from the language from the religion whatever it is it is acquired it doesn't come to you on your own third one it is culturally determined it is decided mostly by the culture this is the link we need to have we need to understand between culture and the perception fourth one it is consistent that means it never keeps on changing it's permanent it remains the same so unless otherwise you have the cultural adaptability that means you have the cultural dialogue and assimilation of the cultures from other societies into your mind it remains consistent it remains the same it won't go away the last one is perception is inaccurate what do you mean by inaccurate it's incomplete it's not completely correct it is not enough so what is the perception you have has to be framed has to be still modified advanced maybe improved or decreased depending on your perception so it is selective it is learned it is culturally determined it is consistent and it is also inaccurate then let me move to the next slide what are the three steps first one is you need to know what is perception 
then you need to link perception with culture the third one is you need to understand the values you need to explain the values briefly you remember that is the third step with what we have discussed with so values are not only held by individuals they are also the domain of the collective values are not only held by individuals so mostly we think uh, values are there only with the individuals ethics morals and values they are being uh, having their jurisdiction within the human beings within the individuals no as we have the values the domain they are also the domain of the collective as a society as a group as a social organization for example you have the values at the same time from which you are part of the society the society also has its own values for example you are a student you are taking an exam so in the exam you ignored the values and you are cheating so you violated the value you violated the ethics forget about the rule if you are caught cheating you will be punished but you are not prepared well for the exams so to get the result to get the better result you have been cheating this is what you have violated the values or the ethics or the morals so the teacher is going to punish you the teacher is having the right to punish you why because you are cheating so the teacher is strictly following the rule so if any student is found cheating he must be liable for the punishment so what about the rest of the students the rest of the students are also supporting the teacher why because it is a value in the society it is against our society it is against our religion it is against our principles who are we we <coughs> oh, sorry we as a whole we the people we the members of the system we the students of the university we the stakeholders of the organization that means values are not just with the individuals values are the domain of the collective as well that means as we have the values the social organizations are the social systems are the societies to have their own values anderson and taylor make this point clear by stating values guide the behavior of the people in society look values are the beacon lights or values are the inspiration or values are the things that are making us moving when you feel confident when you do you feel confident when you think that what you are doing is right <coughs> that gives you courage that gives you confidence that gives you dominance values guide the behavior of people in a society that's why in our society if anyone is doing something wrong anyone has the right to say no or against to it i'm sorry you are the part of the society my dear friend uh, you are the citizen of this society so you are not supposed to do so anyone has a check mechanism to contain those unethical practices so that's why anderson and taylor other two critics of uh, anthropology they, they are the anthropologists what do they say values guide the behavior of people in society they guide the people and they keep the people in good track and shape the social norms in a given culture norms rules regulations they give shape the social norms in a given culture in short values underlie the qualities and actions that people consider necessary and vital to sustain their culture in short values underline the qualities what are there in the values they prove the qualities and actions of the people the people will be qualified necessary they are very necessary and vital vital means very important to sustain their culture that means values are the backbone of the culture no values no culture if the society doesn't have any values that society will not remain forever it will be collapsed so on the basis of the values and uh, values ethics morals the societies would survive or not surviving so let me repeat values are not only held by individuals they are also the domain of the collective and most of the times we think only the human beings have the values it's absolutely wrong even the societies the collective groups will be having their own values and ethics the organizations social organizations are the societies to have their own values 
they to have the ethics and morals why because they only guide the behavior of the people in society so as long as you are the part of the society you need to be governed by these values so the strength of the society sorry the sense the strength of the culture from comes from the stability of the values it is there in the next slide so these values shape the social norms in a given culture so these values will shape the social norms norms means the rules and regulations they make it into a society in short values underlie the qualities and actions that people consider necessary values underlie the qualities and actions that people consider necessary and vital to sustain their culture so the sustainability of the culture that means the longevity how much time it will be survived on the basis of how much values or how many values do you have so that means the values are vital for the survival of the culture vital means very important they are very much necessary for the survival of the culture so you need to understand that here you need to explain briefly what the values are we started with uh, social values or cultural values and how they are governed in the society for that you need to follow four steps the first one is understanding the cult perception then uh, how do perception could be linked with uh, the values then briefly explain what the values are how do you explain the values values are not just from the individuals they are also from the social organizations they are the collective domains or they are they are also the domain of the collectiveness and how do the values guide the behavior of the society they frame or they shape the social norms and for the given culture so that's why uh, the strength or the success of the culture will be determined by the source of the values in that system when you have they are very important in your system then the culture will be <coughs> well preserved or well maintained now let me move to the next slide in the <coughs> next lesson b because i am afraid of the size of the file then it will be difficult for me to record it Yes.